Hi guys, today's story takes us to Singapore, an island located in between Indonesia and Malaysia. It's also known as the Lion City, home to the world's first floating apple store, the high sky park and the biggest waterfall in the world. It's even got the smelliest fruit called the durian that's even banned on public transport. It's got multicultural diversity and religions, karate tea serving, delicious and cheap food and now, not too far from the VR Essential Studio, presumably the world's first facial tracking VR headset. Welcome to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. If it's your first time to the channel, very nice to meet you and a big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Very nice to have you with us again today. I feel that sometimes we're living like an episode in Star Trek because one day something happens and then 24 hours later it's as if we've gone into another parallel universe of some kind. Now before I dive into the specs of this beast, Another reason why we're all pretty buzzed about this is because we have no idea who this company is, who funds them, where they're from. So I did a little digging and went online, did some research and here's some of my findings. Now, if you go to the website, we know that the parent company that's registered in Singapore is called Mega Dodo Simulation Games, which produces and operates DECA, a free to play massive multiplayer virtual reality gaming platform. But after doing a little bit of research about these platforms, I personally wasn't able to find them. We also know that the company is registered in Singapore. It has a registration number and an address apparently that is in Chinatown, which is a really fantastic place to be and is not too far from the VR Essential Studio. We also know that the founder from this company is called Or oh Kunzman. I hope that I pronounce his name correctly and that perhaps he might be from Israel. It's unclear at this moment in stage, but we do know that he spent quite some time there because he was a student there. And then also if we go to Offshore League's website, he was actually and it says that he was an officer or shareholder of another company. The company in question is called Cool Mirage Limited, based in Israel, or Cool Mirage Limited. So the company at the time before it closed down, apparently in December of 2014, produced various different pieces of software that you could download that would be like an add-on or an extension of some kind to enhance whatever different kind of experiences whilst you're browsing the web. Now, one of these software, which is really interesting, one of these extensions is called GoPhoto, which interestingly enough is supposed to enhance your experience on Facebook. We also know that their founder was managing director and founder of many different startups throughout the various different years. And one of them was called Betastamp. Now, when I went into Crunchbase, which is a website that specializes in seed funding and finding out information about startups and things, well, there's two companies that Betastamp actually funded, both worth a quarter of a million dollars each. One to a company called Bangaru, which is basically a property kind of agency based in Thailand, and another one called Better Trade. Now, I wasn't able to find any information on Better Trade, however. Now, do subscribe to our channel because our studio is not very far from their offices, and we are going to try and see if we can schedule an interview and perhaps go to the studio and even try out their VR headset. All right, so now let's talk a little bit more about the specs of the actual VR headset, which promises to be pretty awesome. The Deck Gear headset is claimed to have 2.160 times 2. That's 4.6 megapixels per eye resolution at 90 hertz refresh rate. 90 hertz refresh rate, 4K per eye. I mean, that's just like the HP Reverb G2. That's for 450 US dollars. That's already pretty amazing. IPD adjustment, face tracking with two inward facing cameras. So what this means, as I mentioned before, is that the two cameras will be able to pick up your facial expressions and translate those using artificial intelligence software back into the app. Now, does this mean that the app, for example, VRChat or Sensor, or I doubt Allspace will be able to do it, but who knows? Does it mean that the developers will have to use a specific SDK in order to implement it back into the VR experiences? Or will it be so that the artificial intelligence and the coding inside the hardware of the headset or the software of the headset can do it automatically without developers of these various different apps having to tweak anything. Now the VR headset is gonna have motion controllers with finger tracking. Motion tracking, just like the Valve Index. I would love to try the Valve Index. Valve, if you're watching, please send us a pair. We'd love to try them. We're gonna have the HP Reverb G2 sent to us very soon, so please send us them, that would be awesome. But I can only imagine that, you know, it's gonna take a lot of technology, a lot of costs. So again, how are they able to bundle these kind of technologies with such an incredible VR headset at only 450 US dollars. The Deca VR headset will also come with full inside out camera tracking so that basically you don't need to have any base stations, which is fantastic news. And also all the content will be compatible with Steam VR, which I think is 
awesome because we all love our PC VR content. And they're also going to provide the option to purchase an accessory which will enable you to have a complete wireless experience. Now I have to admit that after using the Pico Neo 2, having a wireless experience can be a touch and go. Now we're going to be doing some videos with the Pico Neo 2, so do hit the subscribe button because we're one of our partners. And so far, the guy who got it right the most, I have to say, is Guy Godin from Virtual Desktop. Honestly, you wouldn't realize how much work these guys have put into making their platform really successful until you've actually tried other accessories. For example, the Nolo on the DPVR headset or the Facebook Go. Um, and also the Pico Neo 2. The Pico Neo 2 is touch and go. As I mentioned, sometimes it's clear, but then sometimes it's still very compressed. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the Deca VR headset is going to perform at a wireless level. And then if this wasn't enough... A small device that can be clipped onto pants or a belt and makes it a whole lot easier to maneuver in VR. The device can be placed anywhere around the waistline and does not restrict the player in any way. So postures such as crouching, bending forward, or even lying on the floor can be performed. With Deca Move, navigation is based on the player's hip direction, freeing their hand movements for interaction and their head to look around, which gives them a great advantage. For example, running away from someone who is shooting you from behind while also searching for the shooter is now possible. Whereas with headset-based navigation, you will start running towards whichever direction you're looking. Maneuvering with the hip is comfortable, intuitive, and requires minimal effort. We are sure that DecaMove will allow players in both multiplayer and solo VR experiences to move confidently and comfortably without teleportation and breaking immersion. By the way, guys, do you not find that their headset kind of looks like a mix between the HTC Proton's designs that were released a few months ago and mixed with the Facebook Quest number one, especially with the head strap kind of thing leave, leave a comment below let me know what you think about the design of their new headset if like us you want the vr community to grow and you enjoy the content on this channel then please go to the link description below the like button in order to support us it will redirect you to our official vr essentials merch store where all the designs including the octopus plane beat saber and the shark in vr are limited editions and will only be available for the next two three months or so there really is something for everyone so avoid disappointment act right away.